guys, this is Duad. Um, since How to Make a Negroni went down so well, we're back with part number two, part douce, and we're making a whiskey sour, one of my other favorite cocktails. Um, whiskey sours were invented in 1919 when Count Camillo Negroni wanted a twist on his regular Americano drink. So he went to the bar and instead of getting soda water, he got gin added instead. So that's how the whiskey sour was made. Let's get cracking. I don't know how to make cocktails, so I've got my book open, um, cause I'm bad. Forgot, to... come with me, I'll show you what you need. In the drinks fridge. What we're gonna need for this one. Strainer, glass, that one. We've already got our jigger, our jigger over there. Not to be confused with our Negroni. Let's go. Um, so whiskey sour is more simplistic, well not more simplistic, but it's just whiskey. I like, I like a Negroni which had three alcoholic ingredients. Specifications don't really matter, but I'm going with the full nip of whiskey. I'm using Maker's Mark, pretty standard bourbon. Use bourbon in a whiskey sour by the way. Pretty standard bourbon, chuck in that one. Um, but for its price, real good value. Next up, whiskey sour. We're gonna want lemon juice. Um, and you want a fair bit less lemon juice than whiskey. If you wanna really be able to taste the whiskey, I'm gonna say you're gonna want like two parts whiskey to one part lemon juice. So. Flip that song bitch around. You gonna say anything, Bob? Nah. All right. And that goes straight in. Um, the other most important ingredient is tomato sauce. Sugar. Yep. Tomato. <laughs> tomato sauce. Sugar. Well, sugar syrup. Because. If it was just whiskey and lemon, there's nothing to balance it out, no sweetness. So we're just gonna make some sugar syrup real, real quick, just sugar and water. Start a little cocktail in itself. We gotta think of something funny to say. Oh, what, what? What's a meme? Negroni. Ah! <laughs> One of those in Django Unchained. That's racist. Lot of sour whiskeys in Django Unchained. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And now, uh, one of the most important steps with a whiskey sour is. Sorry, I'm going off a bit. Right now, we've got lemon, sugar, whiskey, full jigger, whiskey, half jigger, lemon, hey, half um, jigger. Drink, sugar. drink this full of lemon. Put some lemon in there and drink it. Do a real sour face. Do a shot of lemon. This might have to be a separate video, it'll be such a romp. Yeah, I'm wrong. Come in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding boys, wasn't that bad. I like lemon. And as I was saying before, if you remember with the Negroni, you're gonna want, it's not much alcohol, you're gonna want a really nice, good quality gla uh, glass, sorry. Something that looks good, something that makes the drink stand out. So, we got the Star Wars cup. I think that's really gonna accentuate the flavors in the whiskey stuff. Nah, just kidding boys. We're not even done with the ingredients. We just got two more to go. Um, one that's not important, but it makes a little bit of a difference is bitters. So in many cocktails, you'll see the use of old-fashioned bitters. They're just a quite strong syrup. It's one of the three ingredients in the lemon and lime and bitters, the other two being lemon and lime. And you just want to want a few dashes. Boots, boots. That's make, enough. Make me a lemon and lime bitters. Oh, we just use the lemon? I could. You want me to? I'll make you a lemon and lime and bitters, and that one can be quite good with, uh, cocktails for the kids. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then, some of you are going to think this is a bit disgusting. 
egg. You don't want the egg. Um, egg? Yeah. You don't want the egg yolk, just the white. So you get all that in the cocktail glass. Not the yolk though. Save that for Grant. The egg, the egg white. And what the egg white is going to do is just make it real frothy and creamy. But it's not going to change the flavour at all. So we've got in here... Wait, stop filming that. We got whiskey, lemon, sugar syrup, dash of bitters, egg. Get the ice. Cheeky northern. <laughs> I feel like Randy with all this alcohol. Fill her up with ice. Oh, you have to do a dry shake first. Doesn't matter, you can do the dry shake after. Um, Rookie. Slam that down. Nice and tight and give it a big shake like a cool kid. Now that you're happy with how that's shaken, I'm gonna crack that off. And as you'll see there, it's nice and foamy. Give it a smell bub. You can smell egg. <laughs> yeah, you can smell the egg. You can't taste it though. It's nice and foamy from the egg. It smells like a lemon lime bitters with some egg. So we're gonna wanna get some ice. Pop that in the glass. You better say something funny or the viewers are gonna tune out. What are those in Django on Jane? Yep, that's it. Hey Dwight, do you own Menace One Society? <laughs> no one gets it. And then you just wanna get a strainer and pour yourself a whiskey sour. And you see all that nice froth on top? That's because of the uh, the egg yolk that you put in. So thank you, lucky stars, you remembered that part. Now a taste tester. You gonna have a bit? Nope. Don't like egg. Off camera. I don't like egg. <laughs> Alright, off camera. I'm under 18! <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Do a sour face. Well, it's called a whiskey sour. It's not actually that sour. It's, you know, combination of whiskey, sugar, and lemon. So it's kind of like when you put lemon and sugar on your pancakes. But instead of on your pancakes, it's on your whiskey. <laughs> it's not as... I don't like it as much as a Negroni, but it's alright. What do you rate the whiskey sour? Seven, if it's well made, it's seven. What about Negroni? Ten. <laughs> Cut.